It looks like NBA trade rumor season is in full swing as we've got a number of trade rumors to talk about what is going on. Y'all, Fast Sports Tom, back at it with another video talking, of course, some NBA. And as mentioned, talking about the trade rumors floating out there. There's plenty of them. I'm going to talk about the biggest ones. But before I do that, if you're new to the channel, guys, welcome. And make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. Make sure you're following me on all my social media platforms. And make sure you have hit the bell icon down below to be notified when I drop a new video, folks. I told you I would be turning the heat on the NBA content. And I'm doing just that, bringing you a ton of NBA content. The season's going to be here before we know it. So let's go ahead and talk about these damn trade rumors. So first trade rumor. DeMar DeRozan to the LA Lakers. Apparently, the Lakers are interested in trading for DeMar DeRozan. But this one does not make much sense to me. And here's why. Look, the Lakers just won a championship, right? And so we know they have enough to win. Like, there is no one or nothing you can say to the Lakers in terms of, oh, they need to add this piece to win. No, they've already won. So now what you're trying to do is just trying to keep the team intact and still try to figure out a way to improve. DeMar DeRozan's a big name, but similar to Russell Westbrook, he doesn't really make your team better. All right, I talked about the Westbrook trade rumors uh, in another video. You guys can go check that out. But with DeMar DeRozan, this is another guy who, again, doesn't really fit in today's NBA, makes a lot of his or all of his, um, you know, kind of money, if you will, in the mid-range. Um, and he, he's not a three-point shooter or, or not a great one. And again, to me, a bit of an inefficient shot chucker, all right? And the Spurs haven't done anything with him and LaMarcus Aldridge. And there's a reason why. There's a reason why the Raptors moved on from DeMar DeRozan. Look, I'm not saying he's an awful player. But what I am saying is the Lakers certainly don't need him, all right? And if he doesn't make you better definitively, there's no point. And look, could... The Lakers look to move Danny Green and, and Kyle Kuzma. Yeah, I'm okay with that, right? Right. Like, if you can move Danny Green and Kyle Kuzma to make your team better, absolutely. But I would much rather the Lakers get a guy like a Derrick Rose than a DeMar DeRozan. Because the thing is, again, the Lakers need as much spacing as many 3 and D guys. And you might be saying, okay, if I was, Derrick Rose isn't that. But Derrick Rose um, fills a need for the, the Lakers as like a tertiary score after LeBron and AD and a ball handler. DeMar DeRozan, I mean, again, what is what does he do that is excellent? Just a great mid-range shooter and that's about it. And so to me, again, as a third scorer, I don't hate it, but I'm just not a big fan of it. I'm not a big fan of DeMar DeRozan. He's not a great defender. Um, and for potentially the cost here. I'm just not a big fan. I would much rather the Lakers go after a guy like a Derrick Rose than a DeMar DeRozan. All right, so that's how I feel about that. Next up, uh, there's been a rumor going around about Chris Paul and the Phoenix Suns being interested in each other. I should say, you know, the Suns being interested in Chris Paul and Chris Paul maybe being interested in, in going to the Suns. So, so here's the thing with this one, all right? So I, I thought about this one a lot as well. And uh, again, I'm just not really seeing the clear fit here. Look, the Phoenix Suns will probably lose Ricky Rubio uh, in free agency this year. But uh, again, are they a player away from being a contender? I don't believe so. Look, I, I know they went undefeated in the bubble. okay, But uh, that does not mean that they're all of a sudden you know, title contenders. I like the Suns, right? I like the Suns and, and what they're building there with Devin Booker, with DeAndre Ayton, with Kelly Oubre. But we're talking about a guy in Chris Paul who's got an albatross contract, and that's on the hooks for at least two more seasons. He's definitely going to exercise that player option his last year. It's $44 million. You'd be out of your mind if you didn't. So it's definitely two years. And think about what you would have to give up to get Chris Paul, right? To trade for Chris Paul. And are you ready to give up, you know, significant pieces of your core? I'd rather the Suns keep doing what they're doing and build the culture, build the team that Monty Williams has. Look, Chris Paul, again, I don't think he would hurt the Suns, but for the amount of money that you would have to absorb with his contract, maybe compensation picks-wise, and because I think OKC has said they don't want any multi-year deals either. I just don't think it's worth it 
for for you it's it's okc part two right like you would do exactly what the thunder did you you'd make the playoffs uh you know you you get to a round or two and and then you're bounced right i would rather you try to build something like what the denver nuggets did which is organic and try to get there through the players you've developed and drafted and go that route right so again uh I, i'm not a big fan of it from the sun's perspective for chris paul i mean at this point i don't know how chris paul is not looking to just latch onto a contender maybe he doesn't want to ring chase but again at least chris paul can go to a team that has a legitimate chance to win a title right i wouldn't hate it if he went to the clippers even though i'm <laughs> i'm not a fan of the clippers uh i wouldn't hate it uh again if he went to the lakers i wouldn't hate it if he went to the bucks like at least go to a team that's a contender chris paul like grab your championship and again this doesn't mean you're ring chasing. You, Chris Paul is still a very good player, and he would not be riding the bench on one of these teams. Any team he goes to, he's going to be the starting point guard, more, most likely, and so he's going to play a part in contributing to that team winning the championship. If it does, I would rather have him go to a team like the Bucks, a team like the Heat, a team like the Lakers, a team like the Clippers, over a team like the Suns. I'm sorry, the Suns are okay, but I'm just not a big fan of this move. And finally, we've heard about the Boston Celtics looking to make a move for Drew Holiday. So this rumor is interesting. So apparently the Celtics would trade their three first round picks, which are the 14th, 26th, and 30th pick. They would take those picks and trade it and package for a lottery pick. So they'd receive a lottery pick back, a top 14 pick, a top 13 pick, excuse me, but probably higher than that, right? Uh, probably top 10 and you would take that lottery pick ship it to the pelicans to get true holiday all right and probably have to trade away kemba walker to get salaries max etc um i don't hate this one i really don't this one is decent because here's the thing look we know the celtics their core is what jason tatum and and, and jalen brown you've got uh gordon hayward kemba walker and mark just smart but are they really untouchable no they're not Kemba Walker, we saw this season, he was a little bit of a liability, certainly defensively, and the knees might be going. Just saying, this is not prime Kemba, all right, uh, from the Hornets. I'm not saying Kemba Walker's washed, but I am saying Drew Holiday, for what the Celtics want and for the Celtics to become better, he makes them better. He's a great two-way player, one of the best combo guards in the league. He can obviously play point guard or shooting guard, and I think, man, Drew with Jalen and Tatum, oh my goodness, that is a sick defensive team. We know Gordon Hayward uh, really also doesn't fit on this roster. He's just uh, an overlap, if you will, uh, to what they do. And the, the rumor here is they would trade Gordon Hayward over to the Pacers for Miles Turner. I wouldn't mind that either. The Celtics' biggest issue for years has been size or lack thereof. So Miles Turner gives them somebody in the middle to be able to, you know, defend the paint. And, and 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 block shots so i love this move for the celtics i would be all in trading kemba away um and hayward away to get drew holiday and miles turner and at that, that point i mean to me they would be the favorites in the east outside of the brooklyn nets with a healthy katie and Kyrie. but i don't know if katie's back to 100 percent. but drew holiday jalen uh jalen brown jason tatum miles turner mark just smart that's a very good defensive team i don't know how you you know, score on that team. So I like that move. I would love if, if the Celtics would do that. I think that makes them a lot better. So there you have it, folks. Uh, my thoughts on the three big major trade rumors out there. If there are trade rumors you guys want me to talk about, give my thoughts on, leave them in the comments below, and I'll try to get through to as many as I can. As always, thanks for watching.